With 10 beekeepers in discussion, there will be 20 answers. I work with the 21st answer. I dare to be different. I call this the tech method. This is a uh, soft red queen in this particular hive that's uh, been in there for a couple of months. Yeah, good morning Beaks. Uh, it's Team Tech here with uh, two, two, two students, Wayne and Ben. And today's program is uh, checking on this uh, uh, four super high honey hive which will uh, hopefully uh, have, have some brood in it. About three months ago they uh, superseded and uh, they haven't been looked at since I put the root ring mats on in uh, early April. Now you can talk. Good morning. Yeah, this is Ben. This is one of my new students. Hi. Yep. So I've been beekeeping for about five years and uh, this year I've decided I'm going to uh, get more confident at uh, rearing my own queens. So... Oh, that's good. Right, that's Wayne over yonder over here. As long as you're not going to ask me to talk, it's fine. <laughs> you're, you're like some of the others there, they, they, they bloody get shy when you, when you yeah, put you the know, camera on them. Give me a room full of a thousand students, I'm good. <laughs> put me on the camera. Right, today's program is to go into this hive here, check to see how much brood is in, in the bottom super, and if there's a fair bit of honey, we'll hopefully take honey out and put it above the excluder, and also lift the winter mat up to this second super. So the, the reason for that is that uh, there could be a lot of honey that the uh, bees are putting into the brood super, which we don't want. Uh, this top super here will probably be empty, possibly that one there may be empty also, so it just depends on uh, what we see is what we do. Okay. Just, just don't get me bum all the time. <laughs> like June That's does. his best, so uh, keep it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Now this, this, just to zoom in on this out, this, this super here uh, is, a, is a standard way that, that I've been doing it for the last three years. After our last extraction in autumn, or, or the end, end of, uh, towards the end of autumn, they go on top of the honey hives and that saves us uh, storing them in, in the honey room. Subscribe to learn more. And they're, they're ready for... Uh, when you want to use them uh, early in spring. Ooh, yeah. You can tell that by, by the grunt of the motor. Yeah. That's got a lot more honey in than what I thought. This, this one is about to pull it. Do you want to come this side? Yeah, you can come. Glasses. 
stop it for a sec. Probably. Yeah, but you don't want to do right, we've, take, we've taken out, uh, we've got two, two left here, we've taken out one here, and they're all full of honey. So that's three on that side, so possibly there's going to be another three on this side here. So uh, if, if, if the tea tree comes out again, uh, we could have, we, this hive could swarm on us because there won't be enough room for it to, uh, for it to lay. So you can see here the, reason, the reasoning why I'm going to move the brood ring mat up into the next super is because they're storing too much honey down below, below the brood ring mat. Now this one here, this queen here may not be marked, I can't remember whether I'll have to have with my records. There's a little patch of brood there, so and there's honey on this side here. So I'll put it to the outside. This is all eggs and, and, and uh, small uh, larvae. Just looking for the queen. He may find her, he may not find her. I can't remember whether I left her with me record to see whether I've, I've marked her. Yes, she is. Oh, right, uh, queen cage pulled one. Right, so that's made things a hell of a lot easier. All right, back up here. So we'll see how much full brood we've got. Now see here, this 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 is, this is a problem that we've got. That they're putting a lot of honey in in the in the, each frame and just half to half to a third of uh, of brood. So we couldn't. Are we moving that into box number two? No, no. We're just going to move this in because we're moving honey out. Move that outside. But if you're moving it out, one or two box number two to, to the second. That, that doesn't matter. Okay. Wh wherever we can fit it in there. That's another brood. Oh, another brood. 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 That's larvae that go in the centre. So what I want you to do, Wayne, uh, how, how, is all that top super uh, empty? This is all empty. All oh, right, okay. Well, we won't bother putting any foundation in. Are these good frames? They're not bowed. You no, check, these, check these. These are, are frames. So that's one that you can put into yep. that side. Right. Okay. Um, this would I wouldn't use this as a lane frame. No, it's honey frames. So oh no, it's okay. Do that be fine. Yep. Okay. It's getting, getting it's getting it's about it's halfway to to being. Uh, being, uh, no, we won't. We won't worry about it. We've got plenty of others to, to put in there. Yep. That's brood there. That's the reason for that. Right. That's it. Just, just the two, Wayne. Just going to put the two in. As you can see here, it's that much harder in the winter time or in the colder months to uh, move frames around. The propolis and honey is uh, that much harder. So I stretch out my knee hands. Pencil. It tells me when, when, this, uh, when these two frames were put in there. Right, OK. We'll just put this one here right up on top. Yep.
because one over here is the one over here is a single, but we may, we may use that one for one over there. You equalise your frames in, in, your, in your supers. Hey, before you put that back on, one, Alan, do you want to just maybe talk about how you've now got this laid out? So we've got just exactly what frames you've got here. Well, this, you're right. Yep. This this frame here and this frame, two outside frames are honey. The two next frames in are seal brood, honey partial seed brood. And on this particular hive, there, there's a lot of honey, and so the third one in is the empty empty frames that we're putting on each side. And these these here have got. Uh, Young, young uh, eggs and larvae in them, and some brood. So Alan, we're coming, we're on the 2nd of June, I think, so six, right at the start six, of yeah, winter. 2nd of June, yeah, start and, of winter. Uh, it's 20 degrees C here today, so a pretty warm day. Um, and we've got the tea tree coming on, so well, you're yeah, expecting... Hope, hope, hopefully it'll come out for another tw another two times. Okay, so, so you're leaving a little bit of room in the bottom well, box. Well, they, they need room. As you can see, they, they, were, they were getting congested because there was just too much honey in the brood super. And if, and if you didn't do, if we didn't do something today, you find that uh, if, if the tea tree comes on, even if some of the other plants come on, that's not not, not major honey, major nectar. Uh, there's not much room in the brood super for for the queen to lay, and the will swarm on you. Right. Th this is a false uh, impression or false uh, information that a lot of people, uh, well, they don't even think about, is with their brood super. If the queen hasn't got enough room to lay, they can swarm any time of the year. Doesn't matter whether it's winter, spring, summer, or whatever. Just because it's packed out. Yeah, that's right. If the queen hasn't got sufficient room to lay, they'll swarm on you. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> yep. So we're rolling. We're rolling, right? Okay. So what we're doing here today is because of the amount of honey that has been stored in the brood super, we don't want that because the queen can't lay, and if it gets too congested with the, with this uh, uh, tea tree is. We hopefully will come out another two times, flowerings. And the blue gums, yeah. And the blue gums, will, the blue gum is butter dried up now, and it's being, you can see that it's nearly fully developed by the yellow tinge around the perimeter of the trees. So that is due to come out in, uh, in uh, what, uh, six, seven weeks' time. But around about the end of July, that start, generally starts. And also, uh, the blue gum is a major pollen, high protein pollen, so long lived bees. Also, the iron bark is due to come out around about the same time. That is a major nectar flow. So the two complement each other. So we've got to be ready for that. Otherwise, they'll be swarm. They'll, they'll all be swarming. Right. So bring this one around here. Now, there's not much in there. How, how, many, how much is in here, Wayne? And then you've got one, two, three. Four, you've got probably five of these five cut. That's half. That's full, 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 full. Well, hang on. We'll take her out. Uh, no, just take. Some, some. No, what I want to do is, I want you to move the full honey to the outside and, and have, have the uh, others internally. These, these, these work up in a, in a triangle upwards. So Alan, you're going to move the honey to the outside and yep. leave some drawn comb in the middle for them to it's fill. Empty comb for them to fill. Yep. That's that one's pretty good. Yeah, move them up to the out. Have all the empty ones in, in, internally in, in the centre. Do you want the real empty ones so you can stop them? No, it lies apart. That's okay. Right. These ones are all popped. So then Alan, you, you're hoping that if they do what they want to do, they'll... Uh, They'll stop filling up the brood box with honey and move well, it up into the, the super. That's the idea. That's the, that's the whole reason why we're moving the uh, the broodery mat ab above the excluder to the top of the second super. Right. Because they generally won't walk through the gap in the brood rearing mat to store honey up top. Generally, they do, but it's because of the cold winter. Okay. But they, they keep warm. They're, 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 this is the first time that I've had to do this. Really. Right. Generally they will do that, but for some reason they're not doing it. And uh, 
I don't, don't think anyone's seen any. Uh, put it in the centre there. No, yeah, in the centre, centre of the frame. And do you think it's got anything to do with the warm days but cold nights? It was. It's all to do with the, with the cold nights. There's not much high uh, beat around at all. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right, okay, now put your mat on. Uh, put your on. That way there. Okay. Right, and, underneath, scrape off the bees on the... On the, the uh, the lid things. I tell you that this hive's already built up in the last two months, hasn't it? Mm. This was the original host hive. That's the last uh, queen ring uh, that we did, and we, we, we left left a cell in it. So uh, that they've increased quite a lot. So that was when that was April, wasn't it? April, yeah, April, May, yeah, June. April, so a couple yeah. of months ago. So you can see here, there's no bees. If you look down in here, there's no bees working this because it's full of honey. But the, the, this, this over here is uh, there's probably two outside ones, maybe the three outside ones apart, or maybe full of honey. So this was so we've got to do something about this hive. <clears throat> Saying that's better with close ups, really, isn't it? But you, can get a, you can get a long shot, you can get a long shot, and then, then, then get your close ups. Mm -hmm. Is this for another course, Alan? Is this for another no, course? No, no, just, just for just just information. YouTube, that's all. Yeah, this, this queen's marked. Now that's that's another thing too. Uh, if there's any any bird comb, that's that's got to be removed. Otherwise, your frames won't fit together, and then, then they, they bulge out. There's that smoke again. Yeah. <laughs> look, they always try to chase me. I don't know where I am. Bloody stuff. Right, so what I want you, what, so Roy, we can start, the, <laughs> take full honey out, no, <laughs> have a full honey on the outside wall, <laughs> leave, leave a full honey on the outside wall, is that full honey? It's full honey, yep. Oh, okay. These are all full honey. Yeah, well, they're working this one side by the way. Yeah, shake, have a look and shake your bees off. Yep. Just put it out the road. Probably only take two. It would take probably only take two uh, two frames out. Was that eggs? No, all honey. It's all honey. Honey. Right. Yep. That's, that's a bit of brood there. Right, that can go to the outside outside frame there. Yeah, a bit of brood on the outside. 
So we haven't, haven't found the queen. Mm -hmm. have, you, have you released the queen on the other hive over there? Yep, that's just got right, Okay, so that's brood. So he has brood as well, brood and honey. Yep. A little bit of brood That's here. brood and honey. Right, so do you want that's honey honey, do you want empties now? No more than two. Right, so move, 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 two this, empties there. Move, move this one in and put another honey in there. Another honey. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, okay, so these two here. Right, let's throw the wrong end. Broody, take that. Sorry, take take that. Just take that honey out there. Yeah. Take, take the next one out. Just so I put this one in. You've got a queen there. No. No. That's all right. Turn this one here. Just put it in a little bit and then rock it so your frame will go in quite easily. I'm going to clean up that. Oh, yeah, okay. hey? No, that one just needs a bit of cleaning up there. It's still in there. Yeah, not too bad. Oops, not too bad. So this one's different. This one's only got a couple of frames of brood, has it? Yeah, now this one here, Wayne, too. That was a six, but we've put four in here. That one. Yep, I got it. Right, so what are we going to do here now? Question. Questions for you guys, not for me. Questions, okay. Well, what, what are we going to do here? Are we going to do the same as what we did on the other hive, or are we going to do something different? Well, this one's only got a few frames of brood, so, and, and a pretty big population of bees from the course. Yep. So, I would imagine that the the population is probably going to drop off a little bit, isn't it? Just because of their age of them. No, could no. exclude at the top. Yep. What, what 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 we're going to do is get your brood room at the full one. Yep. And instead of instead of putting the the brood room mat on the second hive, it's going to go on the first one. Yep. Because there's heaps there's heaps of room for it to lay in there. Right. Okay. Exclude an hour. We need to get <laughs> four honeys, we've got three stickies, and we've got three brood. Right. Now we're hoping that that, uh, we want to see how that expands over the next two weeks. Right, okay. okay. We'll put, put it all back together again now. So, so you're going to do that the same as what, you, what you've done at your place? Well, um, yeah, because now I would leave that off, and I would put that up here. Uh, I, well, I just right, yeah, okay, well, so we put a uh, Ben. Whiz over and grab that other brood room mat and take this one over, thanks. Just, just exchange them, yeah, now, it's got the bigger holes. Are you still going to leave three boxes? So we, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That one at the top, or this one at the top? Because this has got all the honey, so this will go right to the top. That should go right to the top, yeah. Okay, so we bring that one in next, and then we put the excluder on that one. Yeah. So you're going to under super it. So now we've got all the food at the, at the very top. Now, the, the problem, the, hang on, the problem is how much honey we've got in here. We've got, I, I, we've got two and two there. Yeah, we've got two, three honey. Okay, right, that should be enough. And then there we've got yeah, we'll, we'll, be check, we'll be checking that in another week's yeah. time anyway. That, that. Okay, and then this one, okay, now we need the cranes. And this one goes on the top. Watch 
should work well, I think. We'll soon find out. Uh, uh, hang, hang on, lift up higher. We've got a whole pile of bees just underneath. Just, 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 just hang on a tick. Just, 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 just hang on a tick. That's what you always got to do when, 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 you, when you put it on the lid. Right, now they go down. time will be to see how much is in this one has expanded yeah. compared to this one. Yeah. No, that, 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 that'll be good that. If you don't experiment you don't you don't know. So then, Wayne, so now we've created some bee space in the bottom box for them to expand out into. And up. There's no queen excluder, so they, they can yep. easily go and store honey up here. But, but my, my, argument, uh, my argument will be with this. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, I, I, thought, I thought we were putting the brood mat down below, but we're not. So actually, there's a brood mat, yeah. There's a brood, there's there's a brood, a brood mat there. Yeah. Oh, there is a brood mat. So, so we're keeping uh, the warmth down. Yeah. But the, the bees that have got honey are going to come up and start yeah, building. Right. And the queen is going to be doing her thing down the bottom there. Right. You're thinking she's not likely to go past well, the brood I mat. found that she didn't. She seemed to go here, and suddenly I had a whole lot more uh, brood coming out here. Right. But the whole hive suddenly was, I'm going to say double in size, but it yeah. had the volume had increased tremendously. Okay. Well, well that, that's, that's going to be interesting so, to see, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, and then why good. bother with an excluder though here then? Because I don't want the queen to come up here. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, bl bloody bloody Ben's, Ben's as, as bad as bloody June can't. Turn around Ben. <laughs> Look at the bloody bees on you. Yeah. Holy Take shit. Take them home and make my hives bigger. <laughs> yeah. That's what June can, June can want to do. Because what she said, if, if she's got to go over in the ferry so she reckons she get a seat, no trouble. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ben, if you come up here, but I'll, I'll just... Smoke them off. Yeah, my, my best get the little, little hand blow and blow them. Oh, yes, yeah. That'd be easier. Yep. <laughs> just go, just, just walk out right over the back there, to your right. Yeah, no, no, around the front. There could be nurse bees there. Yeah, that, 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 that's the, the whole reason why that is because uh, you're working at the hive from the front. That's the whole reason. That, that they've got no, they've got no uh, area where they, where they can get in the, in the entrance. Please like, subscribe and click the bell to my channels. Thanks for watching all Aussie content.